Hello viewers, today what we're going to be doing is a modification for a Crossman 2240. What it is is basically a CO2 efficiency mod. What I'm doing is I'm, I took this um, hammer spring and what I did was I basically just cut off um, about a quarter of an inch off of the spring. Let me explain a little bit first what's going on. So the 2240 is basically um, overusing CO2. It's a CO2 hog, I guess. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to bring back some of the CO2 that's used on the 2240. And so in order to do that, um, you can, probably the easiest way is to lighten the hammer spring. This is only going to, um, the results I get from this are only going to be correlated to the stock 2240. Um, if you have a modified one, you might see different results. Um, so, what happened basically is I took the stock spring and my 2240 is completely stock. There's nothing done to it. Um, and the stock spring was two inches long. So just imagine the spring was two inches long. And so what I did was I measured it and I measured it to be one and three quarters of an inch. Then I aligned everything. You can see the little hash mark right here. That's in pencil. And you see how I basically just lined everything up. And I took a pair of wire cutters right here. And I just cut it right there. And so that's basically it. Um, basically what this does, it makes it the spring weaker. So that when you connect it to your hammer, and you will get a... Less CO2 will be entered into the valve. And because the stock 2240 is... The barrel is 7.5 inches long, it's not very long at all. So it doesn't need the very much CO2 to propel the pellet. And so actually doing this mod, you will see no difference in your velocity. And in fact, since it uses less CO2, um, the, the 2240 will actually not get so cold because there's not so much CO2 going through it. And you'll also receive a consistency bonus too, which is nice. So go ahead and keep those things in mind. I'm going to go ahead and take some tests now and just show you um, what kind of results I get. And again, to get your spring to this, you know, to this length, you just measure it. Um, I basically just did hash marks and, um, and then I, you just cut it with the wire cutters. It's really simple. And um, I can make a video to show you how to access the spring. If you would like that, just let me know. Leave it. Leave a post in the uh, comments, and I'll take care of that for you guys. Okay, give me a sec, guys. One thing I would like to add is you do not want to cut too much of the spring off. If you do cut too much of the spring off, you will likely um, make it more difficult to pierce the CO2, and so um, you definitely do do not want to do that. Um, for my spring, I cut it just a little bit more than one and three quarters of an inch, actually. You see? There's just a little bit of a gap. That might be closer to one and um, five-eighths. So, we'll see what results I get. But basically, just take what I get um, and keep it in mind. I mean, sure, you can make a little adjustments. You can make it... You can give yourself a little bit of insurance and not make it one and three quarters, but maybe make it, you know, one and um, seven eighths or something, or, you know, just, just keep that in mind. Okay, let me go ahead and get some results for you guys. Alright, and I'm back from my testing. So, what I found out is that, well, I got a lot more shots per CO2. Um, so this is my stock hammer settings before the cut. And this was at, oh, let me go ahead and the temperatures here. It was at 14 degrees Celsius, so that is, I don't know, probably around 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And I took a shot every 15 seconds, 
and my result was 43 shots for the first canister and the second canister I got 44 shots um, just keep in mind out of my 2240 I have about I don't know maybe mm, 100 or so shots with it it's pretty brand new so those were my results um, let's see oh and with the modified lightened hammer spring I got a really big increase. I did the math, um, it's about a 90% increase in shots. Um, the velocity is the same. Like I said, the stock hammer spring is actually a, you know, it wastes CO2. So your velocity will not change with the stock 7.5 inch barrel. Reason being is that, you know, the it needs time to propel the pellet um, through the barrel and well if you have the stock one and this mod is definitely for the stock 2240 it just makes it more efficient by using the modified lightened hammer spring so that's some of the results and these are some of the um, observed like some things I've observed from my shooting and the stock was a little bit louder the stock hammer spring the hammer spring is strong, so when you release the trigger, you can feel like it's like a recoil, or you know, you can feel the vibration of the spring. Um, there is a lot of CO2 spray from the muzzle with that stock hammer spring. Like you don't really notice it until you know you lighten the spring, the hammer spring. And one thing I will want to note that is kind of odd is that. So when you pierce the CO2 canister with one single shot, you know you'll notice on the next shot that you can hear CO2. You know there's some kind of there's sound, basically, which is not true with the modified spring. So I'll go into the modified spring now. It's it's quieter. You know there's less CO2 coming out, which is you know depending on what you're looking for, it's probably a good thing. The hammer spring is weaker, so when you now, for example, you're dry firing the gun. Um, it, you just feel less movement because the hammer is not flying so fast anymore. It is very mild CO2 spray from the muzzle. Like you barely see like a little mist coming out of the the tip. And one final thing is, it takes four trigger pulls for the CO2 to be heard. Which means you kind of have to keep piercing the CO2. I mean, it's not. I'm not exactly sure what is causing so many trigger pulls to be heard, but it's an observance that I've made, um, and it is consistent. I've noticed it every single time. I don't over tighten the CO2 cap. I don't do that. Um, I do everything just like I did with the um, stock spring and it's been consistent so I will keep you posted and let you know if I find out anything else about that four trigger pulls not exactly sure what that means maybe just because there's so little air coming into the valve that it needs time to kind of buffer up I'm not sure but um, the CO2 canisters look the same after they're done and velocity is the same it's just being more efficient now so um, there are the results I'm actually really pleased with the results I was thinking I'd get 60 60 plus shots I did not think I was gonna get cl close to 80 um, but that's kinda nice so I'll keep you posted if there's any issues that come up any kind of reliability issues um, I will let you know and if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and feel free to leave something for me. And thank you very much.